What is going on, guys? Bangle again here, coming back at you with another video today. We're going to be doing a fantasy draft. If you guys are new here, of course, Madden 20 season is fully underway. I would love if you were to hit that subscribe button. And I am going to show you how to jump into uh, making a fantasy draft, because that's a question I get every year at the start is, how do I actually do it? So I usually just go in, load up the custom roster, which is, for you guys, the one that... Uh, is going to be preloaded into the game already, usually updates when you do it. So custom roster is usually the way to go every time. You choose what team you want to do. For the sake of this video, we're going to do the Baltimore Ravens. I like their uniforms. Um, I will also say, I've linked down in the, the description, I have a Patreon now. So if you guys are feeling so generous as to donate to my Patreon, will this guy shut up? If you guys are feeling so generous as to donate to the Patreon, there are some allotted perks that you guys can get as well, like being in my actual franchise series and being players that we can draft and things like that. So if you're interested, just click the Patreon link down below uh, and to see if you might want to do that. But all I ask really is that you hit the subscribe button um, for more videos to come. So what you're going to want to do is just change the starting point to Fantasy Drafts. And then you start play fantasy draft, and that's all it is. You can change settings in advance, but we're not really going to do that. We're just going to try and build the best team possible. Hopefully, we get a really good pick. Let's go ahead and start this fantasy draft. We are picking not inside the top 10, not inside the top 20. Oh, last. That's sweet. But it's a snake draft, so at least we get the first pick of the second round. I don't know. All right. Let's go ahead and hop and see the options. Still some really, really good options. B-Wags is available. A-B. Julio Jones, Von Miller. We could take a franchise quarterback in, in Tom Brady for a year if I wanted to do that. Um, I think it's going to be important to build around young players. Earl Thomas, of course, one of my favorite players in the NFL. End of all time. Le'Veon Bell is in here. I think we're going to take someone near the top, though. Uh, edge is such a valuable position, but then you take a look at some of these uh, best receivers in the NFL. It's interesting that Julio Jones is still available and Antonio Brown, I guess not so much because he's a bit older, but it's weird that Odell got taken before Julio. I know Julio uh, is getting up there now at 30. He's not exactly old. He's still a 98 overall, but uh, Saquon Barkley is available. I could take a running back. Love Saquon Barkley, but we got back-to-back -back picks. I think, do we take the best middle linebacker in the league he is 29. He does have superstar X factor, great speed, maxed out tackling and awareness and play rec, amazing hit power and great zone coverage. Let's go ahead and take Bobby Wagner. Of course, out of Utah State, Seattle Seahawk is now uh, the newest member of my Baltimore Ravens fantasy draft. And that's not a bad pick. He's ranked at number 33. We took him at 32. Pretty irrelevant when you're doing a fantasy draft, honestly. You just take who you want. And who might I want to take here? Von Miller could be the move. Another guy that's getting uh, up there. At least he is 30. Von Miller is very, very good, though. Good speed, tackling, great rush combos. What are my other options? We kind of checked them out a little bit earlier. Now, I did take a defensive player. Do I want to double up on defense? Patrick Peterson is in here. Um, I honestly feel like I want to take Saquon Barkley. I know running backs might stick around another round. I will have to wait a long time, though. Let's go ahead and take Saquon. I'm a Giants fan. I love Saquon Barkley. He is the uh, one shining star on the Giants. Let's go ahead and take him. Saquon Barkley is the newest member of this Baltimore Ravens fantasy franchise. Very, very good superstar. X-Factor, of course. 97 break tackle, 92 speed. He's got solid trucking, great carrying, juke, spin. He's strong. He's elusive. He can catch. Saquon Barkley really can do it all. And he's going to be the focal point of our offense now, of course, simulates to uh, the third round. At the end of the third round, there was William Jackson. So it looks like a lot of good cornerbacks starting to drop off the board. And I really think we needed to take a running back there if I wanted him. Yeah, I think Saquon would be gone by this pick because Le'Veon Bell is gone. Um, we could go Tyron Matthew. That's a really interesting option. Jabril Peppers is there. I take another giant, Justin Reed. Malik Hooker, who's an absolute monster cornerback. A lot of older players in here. I'm not really interested in a keep to Lieb or Kareem Jackson. But Jair Alexander... Might not be the worst pick for us. Young player was only a rookie last year. Does have star development. I'd love to take another superstar X-Factor player. I don't think any offensive lineman has one, but he has superstar development. Uh, I'm not sure if there are any available. Christian McCaffrey is superstar X-Factor, but I don't really want to do that. AJ Green is here. We got to make a decision pretty quickly. Um, let's go back to the defense side of the ball. I think we should take Jair Alexander. He's a young cornerback. 
He's really, really talented. We got 10 seconds to make a pick, so we better make it quickly. Let's go ahead and take Jair Alexander, of course, the corner out of Louisville, drafted by uh, the Green Bay Packers at the end of the first round last year. So 93 speed, decent enough coverage. He has room to grow. He's hype. He's drafted. And uh, is, is Marlon Humphrey wearing 23 now? I know he changed. I feel like he changed something weird. I don't think he is. Who's 23 on the on the Ravens? I'm not really sure. It doesn't matter. We got a new Ravens team. We're ready to go. And um, let's go ahead and take one of the best offensive linemen in football in Zach Martin. Got to build up that offensive line, Saquon Barkley. Uh, although he proved last year that he doesn't need a great offensive line to run behind. I think it's going to help out significantly if we build up the trenches and Zach Martin is going to be exactly the player that we take. To, uh, to help Saquon Barkley rush for 2,000 yards. I know, shoot shoot high. Travis Frederick could be another guy that we take, back-to-back -back Cowboys um, offensive lineman. But let's say Chris Jones out of Mississippi State. Really, really underrated player. Had 14 sacks last year. Was a dominant, dominant player. 92 power moves. He's got 83 block shed. This is a guy that knows how to put pressure on the quarterback as well as stop the run. So let's go ahead and take one of the better defensive lineman in the NFL in 2019 and that is going to be Chris Jones the team is coming along pretty nicely we have a good corner um, we have a solid offensive line emerging we have a franchise running back we got our franchise piece in the middle uh, in uh, Bobby Wagner took a defensive tackle now we could take an edge rusher here because we didn't do that earlier we can decide if we want to do a 3-4 or a 4-3 a little bit later just by changing positions OV is in there Olivier Vernon Maybe a safety. Malik Hooker's available. I think that's going to be the pick. So is Minka Fitzpatrick. I mean, there are some really good options still available. These uh, safeties are staying on the board a lot longer than I would have expected. But let's go ahead and take Malik Hooker. He's young. He's great. He's a ball hawk. Let's go ahead and take him. Malik Hooker, newest Baltimore Raven. He's wearing 29, which is uh, what Earl Thomas has now. Of course, uh, was formerly Marlon Humphrey's number. And here we are in round 13. I don't know what that glitch was. It's round seven. What do we want to do here? Taking a lot of defense, but I haven't taken my first receiver. Not liking the options at all. Is there a player here that's under 30 years old? Golden Tate, no. Deshaun Jackson, no. He's 32. Cole Beasley, no. Des Bryant, I don't think he's... I think he's 30. Yeah, he's 30. Demarius Thomas, no. Taylor Gabriel is the only receiver in here that is under 30 years old. Sanu is close too, right? He's 30 now. Oh, man. These receiving options are not great. Highly recommend you guys take a receiver earlier than round seven if you're interested in getting anybody that's going to be good for you long term. I almost just want to ignore that completely and say, hey, we'll deal with that at another time. Tyre Matthew. Let's go ahead and take Tyre Matthew. Another solid safety. I imagine he's going to be very, very good for the Chiefs this year. And he adds and completes our safety tandem uh, in the defensive backfield, I like that a lot. Malik Hooker and and Tyre Matthew can debate over who the real DBU is. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Recently, it has been Ohio State. They've got a ton of guys that have been drafted super high, but then again, you look at some of the great LSU defensive backs in the league right now, and Patrick Peterson, Tyre Matthew. Those guys are up near the top of their position, and the Ohio State guys just haven't quite caught up yet. And of course, all time, I, I like to lean towards Texas, of course, the mid to early 2000s. So many uh, great Texas defensive backs, uh, at least at Texas. Aaron Ross being one that didn't really pan out, but Michael Huff was a monster. I mean, there are too many to name. Even Quandre Diggs recently has been solid. Eric Berry is an option. Didn't really even notice that. Don't really want him getting injured, though. Could take an outside linebacker. What do we want to do here? Um, not loving the options, if I'm being honest, and we are running really low on time. I want to take somebody younger. I like to, to build around young players. Jason Kelsey is going to be the move, though. Arguably the best center in the NFL. I know I said I wanted to build around young players, but he's an offensive lineman. He's only 31. There's a mosquito in here. you got to be kidding me, dude. I'm going to be looking at it. Whatever. Round 15, which is actually... Is it round? It's round 9. What do we want to do here? Have I taken a quarterback? I don't think I have. We can always draft a QB. That's going to be the move. We're going we're to need to draft a QB. That's another thing. Take a quarterback early if you guys don't want to be forced to draft a QB. I think drafting a QB is fun, though. So um, 
later down the line, that might be something we look into, depending on what we'd end up doing with this franchise. Might go offensive line again. I've kind of been alternating, although I've taken a few more um, defensive players. We're going to go with Big Q here. Quentin Nelson, first-round pick of the Colts a year ago, and uh, proved to be one of the best offensive linemen in the league right out the gate. Made that Colts offensive line look really, really good. He was a huge uh, part of that. Good pass blocker, but a mauler in the run game. Of course, young. Of course, great development. Really, really good player. And this offensive line is coming together very, very nicely, although we have not taken a bookend yet. No tackle for me. Could go left tackle. Joe Staley is just, he's not that old. He's like, what, 31, 35? I have no idea what I'm talking about, clearly. I thought he was older. I don't know why. I know Jason Peters is up near 35, but um, 37. Man, these players are, are getting old, man. I, I'm, I'm feeling old watching them. Garrett Bowles even was drafted a year ago. He's already like 26. I know he's 27. I know, <laughs> I know he's taken a much older. I don't really want to take a 30... Five-year-old tackle. So Demar Dotson definitely not going to be the move for me as he's 33. Who do we take here? Darrell Williams is young-ish. Jack Conklin is young. Let's go Darrell Williams. He's a scheme fit. He's going to work. Let's take the 27-year-old right tackle out of Oklahoma. They've built some great offensive lines uh, in some of the past years. Some great offensive linemen, most notably uh, or recently, I should say, uh, Cody Ford, who was a uh, tackle slash kind of guard combo we'll see what he does in the nfl cleveland furl goes to the lions of course first round pick top five pick by the raiders this past year what do we want to do we've only taken a few linebackers no real edge rushers and that's usually a focus for me i'd say let's build more around a three four and let's go with jonathan allen one of the best players i had scouted uh, in college football uh, over my time of doing that if you guys have seen some of my scouting videos you know about that but jonathan allen was a force to be reckoned with at alabama had some injury concerns, dropped a little bit. Still was a first-round pick, but uh, was really, really good last season for the Washington Redskins. So Jonathan Allen, certainly not a player I mind adding to the team at all. We're going to stick in the 3-4. And um, who do we want to take here? Let's go with an outside backer. Any real good pass rushers here? Preston Smith, maybe. That could be someone I look to target. Zadaria Smith, we could take the two Packers. Um, I mean, there's some really solid options in here. Jerome Baker could be someone we move to a middle linebacker. Good option. But we're, you guys are going to see enough of him in, in Dolphins franchise, so maybe not going to do that. I might go Reuben Foster. He's such a good player, has some off-the-field issues that are tough to ignore. Uh, and he's so fast, so strong. I'm going to go I'm gonna go Reuben Foster. I know his development isn't great, but he's such a good player that it's really tough for me to pass on something like that because the potential is going to be there. He is so young. He does have a lot of potential. Just stay on the field. We're going to be fine. Let's go. Let's actually take an edge rusher this time. We always could take um, a defensive end and move them back, just depending on like what scheme fit they are because there are not a whole lot of great pass rushing options I see that are not 35 plus Cameron Wade, Terrell Suggs certainly don't fit that. Could go Jannard Avery, and that actually might be our pick. Only normal development. He burst onto the scene. He was a fifth round pick out of Memphis, right? Didn't expect to start, and he played really well. 86 speed, 80 finesse move. I think that's going to be just what I want at uh, at that edge spot. So he's going to be flying off the edge. Hopefully, uh, he can improve. They gave him Terrell Suggs number, but um, that's all good. We could always take an edge rusher in the draft as well. We could take another cornerback. Also, might be something I like to draft. Any good young players? I mean, there are a few of them. I don't know how good they are at this point. Eli Apple. Don't even get me started, dude. I <laughs> don't need that for this video. Uh, can I finally take a receiver? I just don't like the options, you know? John Brown might be the best option. Uh, Quincy Anunwa is probably one of my best options Josh Doxson what could have been let's go with Quincy Anunwa he's a scheme fit he only has normal development are a lot of these guys only gonna have normal yeah so we might as well just take anyway let's go ahead and draft Quincy Anunwa out of Nebraska this team is shaping up together pretty well um not amazing not terrible I do like what we're working with here let's take a couple more picks and then auto draft and see what this team ends up looking like I'm excited, man, because uh, it's kind of a disaster <laughs> at the moment. 
because uh, I've ignored some really important positions. Let's take Drew Locke. Honestly, that's going to be a good move for us. Young player. He's a rookie this year. We can see how he develops. The Broncos are going to find out, at least. Uh, we'll see how Joe Flacco coaches him up, if anything. I know he said, he's like, I don't really care to do that. I'm here to play QB. It's like, uh, all right, we'll see how, see how well you play before you get replaced. Maybe, maybe he has an MVP season. You never know. Except in the case of Joe Flacco, you probably know he's not going to do that. Who's available at left end that really fits our scheme? Agba, I don't really feel like fits our 3-4 at all. It feels like we have uh, one guy standing up in this case because all the guys that fit our scheme fit, for the most part, are guys that are typical edge rushers. Muhammad Wilkerson is not. Dean Lowry really isn't either. What are my options at right end? We can say DJ Reader. Taven Bryan, first round pick for the Jaguars a year or so ago. Let's go with DJ Reader, though. He's been a really good player for the Texans. He has star development. Let's bring him onto the team. He can basically be a nose tackle if we want him to do that. He's 347 pounds. He's massive. We can move him into nose tackle. We can slide Chris Jones out to defensive end in our 3-4. That might work really, really well. Let's see. We can take a tight end. Who's available here? Going to be some good options, probably. And there are, actually. Now, they are older, but these could still be impact players for us. I don't think I'm going to take a Jason Witten in my wildest dreams. Although, Chris Herndon is calling my name. He got suspended a bit, but he had a great season last year um, with the Jets. Still really, really solid. Good speed, catching. Got to work on route running and blocking a little bit, but who needs to worry about blocking when you've built up your offensive line so well on the inside? So, Chris Herndon is the newest Baltimore Raven I think, I, have I taken a receiver? I feel like I just did. I did take one. Who did I take? I took Quincy Anunwa. Ugh. How did that happen? How'd you guys let me do that? What else could we do here? I've only taken one corner. Our defense is, is almost complete. Might be time to take another receiver, depending on who's available. Could go Djax, man. I mean, he might be good for another year or two. I did take Quincy and Noonwell already. Keelan Cole's here. Could take a high potential guy. Who is available that fits that mold? Who is a high potential guy? I'm really... Antonio Callaway. Antonio Callaway is going to fit the bill here. Now, normal development, but he's young, has a lot of room to grow. Antonio Callaway, I think, is a very good fit for our team. Great speed. He's got good route running already. Solid catching. We've just got to develop him a little bit more, which... I don't think it's going to be all that hard. Should be able to do that just fine. Uh, could take a left tackle now. Okung is available. Nate Solder. DJ Humphreys might be the best option in terms of age to skill. 25, 72 overall. Not ideal. Really is not ideal. I don't really want to do that. I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to end up doing it probably. Definitely not going to take another QB. Uh, let's take another cornerback. We've only taken one. Trey Waynes. Uh, I don't really want to do that. I don't love the options. We got to, at some point, just bite the bullet and take some players and see what happens. Levi Wallace, kind of an unsung hero on some Buffalo Bills teams. I just saw a mosquito out of the corner of my eye. I don't really think overall matters so much when these guys can grow and develop. Let's, and I got, I got autographed because I took way too long. We took Greedy Williams. I'm down for that. That's actually awesome. And he has hidden development because it could be either star or superstar or superstar X Factor. I think it's star. But I'll take Greedy Williams. That's the best option. I was going to take Levi Wallace, dude. That's way better. <laughs> That's way better. A lot of potential there. I like that. That could have been so bad. Greedy, we could have taken some 35-year-old guy. Uh, Jalen Ferguson doesn't even have a picture in the game, which is odd. Noah Spence could be the move. What have I not taken yet? I want to I want to fill out the team. Right outside linebacker, I need a pass rusher. Noah Spence is going to be the move. Of course, went to Ohio State briefly, and then Eastern Kentucky when he got kicked off the team, uh, and then was drafted by the Bucks in the. Uh, I want to say he went like kind of early. I feel like he was like a second or third rounder. I could be mistaken. Regardless, doesn't really matter. What do you want to do? So defense is almost all the way picked. We've taken two right ends, which basically counts as two left ends. Or like a left end and a right end. Could you move guys? Could take another defensive tackle for depth here. 
Deidre and Sanat, maybe. Puna Ford. Let's go ahead and take Puna Ford. Hook him horns. He's a really good player at Texas. Super young as well. I'm excited to see what he can do for us. That is easily going to be the pick there. So our defense is built. We're done. We could take another cornerback, another linebacker, blah, 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 blah. Um, but I think our defense is complete. Time to finish up the offense before we get out of here. Might take a left tackle here. If DJ Humphreys is available, I'll probably take him. Oh, Colton Miller as well. Let's take DJ Humphreys. 25-year-old tackle out of Florida. Has never really met his full potential in Arizona, as far as I'm concerned. Of course, the glitches. He's obviously not ranked number two in the entire draft. Take him at 673. Um, Sean Deion Hamilton goes. Let's go ahead and take a fullback and end this. I probably wouldn't do that, but Patrick Ricard is here. A Ricard, interesting player. Played some defensive tackle uh, at Maine, and then even sometimes for the Ravens. Do we bring him back? Who is a better option? I don't really think there are many. We could go Roosevelt Knicks or JJ and uh, TJ Watt's brother, Derek. Let's just go Patrick Ricard. He's gigantic. He's a 311-pound fullback. What's not to love? 95 lead block, 90 strength. Not exactly the fastest. Isn't going to do too much for you as a runner, but as a pure blocker, let's stick him in eye form. Just have Saquon Barkley run behind him and have 311 pounds of beast coming up the middle and then standing up a defensive tackle or a linebacker rushing the B-gap. I'm down. But that is going to do it for this fantasy draft. We've taken about 30 picks. Kind of a lot. Um, not 30. But like um, probably 25 picks, something, something in that range. We built a nice little team here. A nice little unit, maybe maybe a little bit shorter than 25. I'm not entirely sure. And I think they're about 55 rounds. So that's kind of whatever. But, um, I mean, the fantasy drafts are just always so fun for me. Uh, I've always loved doing them. We'd do, like, you know, when like you go over to a friend's house, you play Madden. Like, of course, there's always the element of playing the game. And you can do play now or whatever. But, I mean, at least in my friend group when I was growing up, uh, a little bit earlier, like, you know, like six, seven years ago when this used to happen more often. Just go on. Everyone would get a team, do a fantasy draft, and then we'd be in the same division. So if there were four of us, um, you know, we, we'd draft our teams and then play together, and then we'd have a bunch of interdivisional games. It was a lot of fun back in the day. So kind of miss that to a degree. Let me know down in the comments section below if you guys have ever done that, or if maybe I'm the only one that has a friend group that did fantasy drafts. But it was always just such a fun uh, aspect of the game for me. I always love drafting. And, and when they take or when they took it out, I'm like, what are you doing? But uh, super weird when they took out fantasy draft. I don't know. Let's go ahead and check out the team and see how things ended up going. So the silver players are star development. The gold players are superstar. And then the red players are superstar X factor. I think we've built together a pretty decent team. Uh, now the CPU auto drafted Greg Robinson, James Hurst, uh, actually, really interesting player here. This is a center at Georgia, Lamont Gaillard. That was actually really, really solid there. Um, and he has a good chance to make that roster in Arizona. Uh, Brandon Shell's here. Got Michael Huminua Nui. Our uh, receiver are not amazing. We got Ruben, or not Ruben Foster, excuse me, Robert Foster, uh, Eli Rogers, De uh, Deion Kane. almost said Deontay for some reason. Martavis Bryant. We got Marty B. We got two Clemson boys back to back like that. Gio Bernard. Uh, is this Russell Smith? Russ Smith? Rod. Hmm. Weird. We got Tyree Jackson. I like that out of Buffalo. Ryan Suckup as well as our kicker. So he's not exactly going to be a great uh, backup QB. We got Tyree Jackson. We're fine. Uh, on the defense side of the ball, we got Ugo Amadi was drafted. Um, Dakota Watson. I don't actually know who this is. Peter Kalambayi? Not sure. Maybe you guys know who that is. But, uh. We don't seem to have a ton of linebacker depth. J.J. Wilcox is on the team. Um, and it's blue. Interesting. That's a new change they made that I did not when I played the initial build. Um, it's blue when you don't actually know what it is. So that's kind of cool. When I had it, it was, a, like, it was like a red and yellow combo when I played at EA. Grant Haley is in there. Um, Joe Juan Williams. I, I was... I, that was interesting. I was wondering why I didn't uh, recognize that face at, at first. But uh, Patriots second round draft pick out of Vandy. Interesting. We got Derek Rivers. Doesn't exactly fit our scheme. Cedric Thornton's in here. Uh, Benson Mayoa. 
we had an interesting little team, man. I think this team would be able to compete. I wonder how we rank in terms of some of the other teams in the league, but I feel like that's not terrible. I drafted a really good defense, yet the offense overall-wise is the best part of our team. So 79 overall, I guess I could be higher, but I'm you know planning for the future a little bit. I don't just want to take the highest overall player each time. But that is going to do it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment down below what, you know, what moves you would have taken instead or what you ended up doing with your fantasy draft. Tell me your teams. I'm excited to hear. But that is going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. So excited for more Madden 20 content. Should be a good year. Take it easy.